Hello everyone, Emily here. I just wanted to do a, um, come in and say hello. Um, I haven't been feeling very good, so I haven't been doing very many tutorials lately. But I wanted to show you my blanket. This is my double crochet. You can remember I did this bottom green part. And now I'm working on the dark part on the top. It's really pretty. It's going to be really warm. They're really close together. You can't really see the colors too well. Let's see. Let's go over here under the lights. Isn't that pretty? The colors are absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, the green is absolutely gorgeous. So I've just been sitting in my chair to take some time off work. I haven't been feeling very well, but I wanted to come on here so you could see. I haven't been able to crochet a little bit, so it seems like it's taken me forever to get it done. But isn't it beautiful? This is that Premier um, yarn, and I absolutely love it. And this is just double crochets, and you can just see how beautiful it is. So I hope everyone is happy and healthy. Take care of yourselves out there. And I'm just going to crochet a little bit and so you can see my double crochets. I am on my last skein of this dark. This color, this, this yarn is the uh, Premier Puzzle. I really like it. And I've been sick, and I'll tell you what, if you are sick and you can't sit in your chair and crochet, you know you're sick. There ain't too much that can keep me from crocheting, but I've just been out for the count. This double crochet is just a beautiful stitch. And this stitch will get you ready for so much more that you can do. Now my granddaughter bought me this yarn for Christmas and I was going to make this blanket for myself. But I was talking to my daughter and since she bought it for me for this Chris, last Christmas, I think I'm going to give her this blanket for Christmas next year, or the upcoming Christmas. And my daughter thought she'll get, she'll just be tickled if you do that, Mom. She will be 13 at that time. So this is going to be for her. And when I get done, I'm just going to go through my stash and see if I have any more of this kind of material because I don't want a material yarn because I don't want to mix any anything else except for the premier puzzle with this um, and then I might just go ahead and add it to one end or the other because I made a poncho out of the screen and um, this blue I think I made a, a scarf but it might have been a different blue. I'm not sure, but I might have a little bit of something left over. So I'm gonna make sure I check. That way I can just throw it on the end. Now when I sit in my chair, I'm 5'6", I can throw the bottom, which I used the green for the bottom, underneath my feet, and the top here comes all the way up to my chest, which is great. And she's gonna be probably my size, if not taller. And she's gonna be 13. By Christmas, so I'll make sure I make it long enough for her. She can always use it on her chair when she's playing on her computer. It's really this stuff is so soft. She can use it in on top of her bed, take it in the living room when she watches on movie nights with her brothers. This is just beautiful. So I wanted to get on here tell you sorry I haven't posted anything lately. I'm going to finish this blanket up and I'm going to start a new project. And I've already got my next blanket planned out. And I also want to start a sweater.
And when I go shopping for that yarn to keep for the sweater, I kind of wanted to take you guys along with me. Now, I know there's a lot of expensive yarn out there, beautiful yarn, wool. Oh, I, I bought some of that. I liked working with that. Um, but I do use a lot of Mainstay and Red Heart from Walmart on a budget. And I really just can't afford that expensive stuff. I did order some... Uh, what is it? Uh, alpaca yarn off Amazon. And I was really surprised at how cheap it was. I started myself a scarf and I'm really happy with it. It feels so warm. So when I get that done, I'm going to show you and then we will make one together. Um, unfortunately, it won't be with the alpaca yarn. <laughs> yeah, that alpaca yarn is just gorgeous. But um, I caught it on Amazon and I ordered two. Well, of course, the skeins were smaller than I thought they were going to be. You know, they, they're not as big as, like, the Red Heart. And so then I ordered two more. And I was kind of surprised it wasn't out godly expensive. Um, I don't know. I guess I paid, gosh, I don't even know. I want to say $15, for $15 for two little ones. Um which really wasn't too bad, and I bought them at two, you know, to the first order and to the second order, so. And that Red Heart yarn, when I'm making blankets for the kids, you know, it really stand, it really holds up good. Like that sweater that I showed in my tutorial that I made for myself, that was Red Heart yarn. You know, I wash my blankets Anything that I wear that I crochet with that Red Heart or any yarn, I wash it on Delicate by itself. And then uh, I don't dry it in the dryer. I like to hang dry it. But I've been wearing that sweater for two years, so at some point I'm pretty sure it got stuck in the dryer. <laughs> and um, it's still wearing really good. And, uh, you know, sometimes you might get those little balls on them. But I really think that that's only because it gets thrown in with something else that makes it get those little balls. And sometimes if someone, like my son, decides they want to help me with laundry, you know, um, he doesn't pay attention. He just throws everything in together. So, but that's okay. The help is needed and wanted. So this is just me chatting away, giving you an update, and I will be back soon. Um, you guys stay safe out there. I hope you're having a great day. The weather is getting nicer here in Des Moines, Iowa, and I will be back soon, and I am going to start another blanket and that sweater. Not sure which one first. Well, thank you very much. Bye.